So clearly, I have learned that for future reference, if I'm going to do a makeup declutter and partial resale, I just need to pop up on the scene with that shit. I went ahead and posted a snap just with mostly everything that I was going to declutter laid out and organized. And I cannot tell you how many people were like, when are you selling? When are you selling? When are you selling? So when's the sale? When's the sale? When are you selling? Like, I only sell to like six people. And I said that and still all kinds of locals were like, when are you selling? When are you selling? When are you selling? Like, okay. All right. Okay. So. Anyways, what's good? How you doing? It's your girl D back with another video. It is time for this season's uh, declutter and makeup perch. And I've got quite a bit this time. I haven't even gone through the Bath and Body Works and truth be told, I'm gonna leave the Bath and Body Works alone, but I've got a lot of makeup, a few makeup tools, and a little bit of skincare that we are going to be getting rid of. Uh, first up, disclaimer. As for the online folks, I only deal with six. As for the locals here in Kansas City, if you do not come through on your money, we will not do business again. And I don't say that, I, I say that with love and adoration, but listen, the reason why I only deal with six people online is because there are a lot of people, when I used to do this on Facebook Live auction style, there were a lot of people who would never come through and never keep their word. And that just led to the next declutter. And I, you know, I understand life happens, things come up, that's all well and fine. You know, there's no, no grudges held, no harm, no foul, but that's it. That's all. So, okay. <sighs> I'm not sliding out. Oh, that's right, because this is a dashiki dress. Oh, let me show you this. Like, isn't this nice? I was like, why am I sliding out? Because when I sit down, because of how, let me not fall. Because of how I sit down, um, my butt kind of falls out of this a little bit. This is a dashiki dress that I got from um, Hooksy's wardrobe. Um, and I will link that in the description box. She was having a good sale. I love it because it's got these, it's got these, uh, titties. I love it because it's got this, um, these little bling stones all over, all over the front and the back. I was cute. I was cute at the wedding. I sure it was. Okay. So are y'all ready? Cause we got a lot to go through. Here we go. First up, skincare. Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I got this um, as a gift and I've never used it. Brand new because I've got a plenty of primers. So um, if, I'm, if someone is interested in this, this can go for $10. Next up, I have a gently used makeup bag set from Victoria's Secret. This is the main carrying case. Inside, it has a clear zipper part here as well. This part comes out to travel with, and then the other side has the mesh netting and a zipper part there. I'd let that go for 10 as well because I've got another one that's think that's got like maybe three compartments and I don't travel very often so I don't um, really need this anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, next up, makeup brushes. These can go for, let's see. So I've got the Sephora set. These are five eyeshadow brushes that we um, I think never used. There's a piece of lint on there, I'm sorry. So these five eyeshadow brushes, I'd let this set go for 10 bucks. 
I think I paid maybe 15 for it. I have a, a never used icing powder brush. This is in a set. Don't use it. I let this go for a dollar. I have a um, Makeup Academy Professional. This looks like this is a Kabuki brush. I let that go for a dollar. I have an e.l.f. powder brush. This also came from a set. Well, damn, we just disappeared. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody's gonna adjust the light like that. Damn, we just, oof. Let that go for a dollar. I've got a trio of brushes that came from a set from Sonia Kashuk. These three were never used. I let them go for it. Um, let, let them go for a dollar each. I've got a brand new Icing Expert HD Foundation Brush. Never used. I let it go for five. It retails for $8.50. If you can see that. This came in a Ipsy bag. This is a Lisa Frank inspired powder brush. Still in the plastic. I let that go for a dollar. I have a stippling brush that also came from an Ipsy bag. This is um, a Luxie brush. Although, didn't Luxie? Was it Luxie that did the Wonder Woman brushes? I might have to actually have to hang on to that. Hang on, let me, let me do. I'm gonna set those ones to the side. <sighs> I've got some random eye brushes. Um, from Ace Vivi. Never used. Dollar each got a uh, brow brush this came from the same set as this icing brush let that one go for like a dollar um I've got a random eyeliner brush angled eyeliner brush that came from um, some type of essentials I took a picture of the brand because I was on Walmart the other day and it's the um because oh it's the same brand that um the foundation brush that I use for my what is it called there it is essential tools it is the same brand that I use, um, the foundation brush that I use for a lot of my um, skincare videos. So this is actually a set. There's an angled shadow brush and an angled eyeliner brush. And I think the set costs maybe like $4 or something like that, but I'd let them go for like a dollar each. Um, this also came from a set. This is for an Eco Tools brush, shadow brush. It's a flat domed one. Quite interesting. I'll let that go for a dollar. <sighs> I have a Morphe E25 brush, gently used. And so it's got this dual end for the foundation and this end for the concealer and the detail. I'd let that go for $5. Um, I've got some type of detail brush that also came in an e.l.f. set. Again, a dollar. I have... Oh, okay, so this probably came in the same set. I'm realizing that apparently I may have just had sets that I got and opened and never used. So this is, um, this is a contour brush from Makeup Academy. But apparently it's the same cute little size as this brush. And this is technically a highlighter brush. It says this is a contour brush. So again, a dollar. I have another dual ended uh, foundation and concealer brush with the clear handle. This, don't mind the sticky part, that's just where the label was. But this it came from Claire's because Claire's had some clear handle brushes. A dollar. I've got the clear handled eyeshadow um, applicator, but it's the traditional foam applicator. I'd give this away, honestly. I have tweezers that came from another set. Um, Disney apparently had Disney princess makeup tools. So this was the princess and the frog and they're tweezers. I'd give those away too. I have individual, a Sonia Kashuk brush, a 
nice domed one. This would be good for maybe a foundation application. I'd let that go for a dollar. I have also other individuals. These are some wet and wild brushes. This one is a foundation brush. This is a shadow brush. I have these all over. So let those go for a dollar. And Gosh, so many brushes everywhere. I also have a have a full uh, well not a full set but I've also got another um, set of the wet and wild brushes so I've got a small concealer brush a fluffy eyeshadow brush another foundation brush a crease brush and then another flat shadow brush and so those I'd let go for a dollar each or if you wanted these in the little cute ipsy bag you could have it for four dollars I have another eyeliner brush. And apparently, I bought it for a dollar. I throw it in something for free. And then there's this big ass elf brush that I've never used and looks amazing. Like it'd be really cool for this cheek contour. But I also have this one, which is more sculpted to my face. So I don't need this one. I don't even know if I paid for this or how much I paid for it, but I'd probably throw it in for like a dollar. Oh, and then I have a never used MAC puff thingy. So this, I know I paid a pretty penny for, but I'd let it go for like two bucks. And that is all for the brushes. Uh, oh, there's another, there's another set of tweezers that I got from H&M Beauty. They were a dollar. I'd give them to somebody. So that's all for the tools. Skincare coming up. So, <clears throat> I only use this once. Um, this was the Freeman Beauty Infusion, the Revitalize and Peel Off Mask with Pomegranate Peptides. Just don't see it have a use for it anymore, so I'd probably let it go for, if I let it go for a uh, cost, it'd be a dollar or so. I have a gently, well, uh, a very seldom used, um, Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. I got this in line with the uh, the African Black Soap skincare, so I have the scrub and the toner as well. Um, the kids been using those recently, but I never use like there's dust on top of the mud mask, so I don't use it. So I let that go for a few dollars. I don't know. So apparently that's it for skincare. Damn, we've been at this for 14 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay. This big ass bag full of makeup. And I'm not even naming prices this time. I'm just gonna go through the shit. So I have the Voluminous Extra Volume Collagen Mascara from L'Oreal. Still in the package. I've got L'Oreal, the uh, True Match. Looks like this is a powder foundation or a cream to powder something in the shade um, C7, not brown. Still in the package. I've got It Cosmetics, the Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara Deluxe Sample. I have samples of the Kat Von D Saint and Center Saint and Center perfume. Sweet peach, the lip oil, the peach oil lip gloss in the shade um, Tickle Me Peach. After the whole peach debacle last year. Even though I bought a few and then I subsequently got rid of the others, I kept that one because that was the one that most likely looked best on me and I just, just haven't used it. I've got the Dior Show Deluxe Sample of Mascara. I've got a never used Vice Lipstick from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Blackmail. This is a comfort matte. 
apparently I have several black males. So that's why that one was never used. Melt Cosmetics, the gun metal stack. I use this maybe twice. If I do sell this, that's gonna go for 20 just because this is pricey as shit. So if you're familiar with Melt and the way that their eyeshadows work, they actually, you pay mostly for the packaging. So the packaging is magnetic comes with a mirror on top and each of the shadow shades magnetize onto the other I just I and with having all of the Sephora Pro palettes now and I I'm, I just I never use this so going ahead and getting rid of it I have a Nika K lipstick this is in the shade um, 15 it's a nice blue, bluish gray. ColourPop, I've got a uh, Ultra Satin Lip. This is, I don't know what shade this is because there's no name on here. It says Hutch maybe? I don't know. But, okay. Got Gerard Cosmetics. This is the Hydra Matte in the shade Ruby Slipper. And then the other Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Night Rider. Oh, and if you wanted to see the color pop. I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four lashes. These lashes that I got from Forever 21. They're cute to practice with, but they don't work very well. And I use them for the eye, the watermelon eyeshadow look. And just, I couldn't really get them to apply right. They're, cu they're cute in theory, so, but no. Cause when I decluttered, I have, I now have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 pairs of lashes, plus the ones that I'm wearing right here that, um, and not to mention the ones that I still have in my makeup collection, so good for those, okay. Speaking of lashes, Here's some that I decluttered. So these are the number 128 from Eyelore. I'm getting rid of these that came from TJ Maxx. I'm getting rid of these that are from Elf. And then I'm getting rid of these. Ah, that's where I left off. These, the number 128, because these are duplicates because I've got um, a couple of these still in my drawer. I'm also getting rid of these because these look ridiculous and I honestly don't know if I'd even be able to see after wearing these. <laughs> but okay. Next, oh, and then there's these. Like, why, why do I have so many lashes? I know Yo-Yo's probably like, so Diana, listen again, Yo-Yo, I have 14 pairs that I'm still keeping. And that's just here, that's accessible right now. I'm getting rid of a Z palette. So just the palette itself, because I only bought this for use with um, a makeup review for one brand, because they actually sold their shadows by the individual pan. So get rid of this Z palette. If I let that go, it'd probably be for five bucks. Um, MAC strobe cream sample, deluxe sample, somebody could have that. Oh, there is more skincare in here. Um, this is a spot eraser from the Enlight Superface brand um, that I've been reviewing off and on. So this spot eraser is made with kojic acid, um, leoris extract, and vitamin C. And it actually is a concentrated potion that contains a complex of powerhouse ingredients like vitamin C, kojic acid, and, oh, that's licorice. 
It's misprinted. One says Lyrus up there, but in the text it says licorice. So, Wallah. Um, licorice extract to help even your skin tone by brightening, brightening the appearance of age spots, acne marks, and hyperpigmentation. So, this might be interested in that, but that go for, I think, maybe three, four bucks is what I paid for it, because it was on clearance. More makeup. So, forever, actually, I'm just purging this. So, this is my makeup forever. The um, Ultimate Ultra HD, and this is in the shade R, R540. And then I also have the shade um, 505. I don't know why I have such vibrant dis differences between the two of these because this is more of a summer, this is more of a winter shade and this is more of a summer shade, but these are beyond expiration, unfortunately. And I think I held on to them just because I know how much Makeup Forever is. <sighs> Brand new eyeliners never used. So here's one from L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner. And then this one is from a brand called Seraphine Botanicals Liquid Coal Waterproof Eyeliner. I think this one came in an Ipsy bag. Get rid of those. Mm. Um, from Ruby Kisses, the Maracuja Kiss Stick. Don't use it. I gave the last, I bought it to replace the one that I gave away, but I still never use it anyway, so. Milani, this is the um, Everyday Eyes. Smoky Essentials, these are the blue ones, blue-ish. So from the Fiona Styles, these are some eyeshadow bases, the Radiant Aqua Eye Veil in the shade Outpost in Galaxy Way. One's kind of brownish, and then the other is kind of murky. It'd be good for a base for a smoky eye, I just have so much eye stuff and even though I bought these and they were on clearance I'm not going to use them. Becca this is a deluxe sample of the backlight priming filter. Oh my gosh. Held on to this for a while. I, I can't can't anymore like I love you a little bit too faced but Papado Peach I don't use it as much I I worked really hard staying up at the peach release in December to try to get all the whole line to review and everything like that but I just don't use it so uh, Maybelline a lip color palette didn't say anything about the kind or the inspiration or whatever it just says um eight irresistible color shades ranging from a nude to a wine so all right the rock nudes also from maybelline there's no shade names for these either they just have um numbers to correspond with potential looks the Balm Cosmetics, how about them apples? This is a cheek and lip cream palette. Very pretty shades, but probably they're a little bit too light for me. Um, Black Opal, the True Color Stick Foundation, beautiful bronze. I have a stick foundation that I just found that apparently I bought from Tarte. And then I also have my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, so I'm good on that. I've got a, a deluxe sample of a Sephora eyeliner. This is in the shade... What shade are you? 26 Suede Shoes. Almost done. Pixie by Petra, the Book of Beauty Bronze Textures. These are really nice for giving you that nice dewy, glowy look. And just helping with the highlight up here. I might keep it, I don't know. Because I don't really have any 
shimmer browns. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I've decided. I'm keeping it. Okay. But if I don't use it, I'll get rid of it. Oh my gosh. Palette. The Urban Decay Smoked Eyeshadow Palette. This did come with an eyeliner, which has since been gone, but these are the shades. Very nice, good for making a smoky eye. You've got a, cop, a brown in here, a purple, a blue, and a green. You've got a matte brown and a matte black to help smoke it out. And then you've got some um, lighter colors in here to help with brow bone highlight if you want, or an inner corner highlight, whatever you want to do. And there's also a silver in here, and then like this grayish mushroom color. But I just, I don't get enough use out of it. And I believe this is discontinued, so if I were to sell that, get rid of it for $5. Oh, another one from The Balm, The Balm Voyage. Another eyeshadow sample. I think this is, what are you named? Wilkeman? Is that what your name is? I don't know. It's cute though. And then, and Tamiko had her eye on this, which I'm not, I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. The Naked Skin Shapeshifter. I literally only use this in the review. And because I now have the contour kit, um, both contour kits from Anastasia, because they were on sale for 20 bucks each, and it's a ton more product. Even though the concept is cute of it, I, did, I haven't used it. And so I plan to transition to those once my other contour kit runs out. So I'd sell that for 20 if someone wanted to buy it. And speaking of a purchase, this motherfucker. I'd sell this also for 20. Because I, I have yet to use it. Now, in comparison to the Urban Decay Moon Dust, even though there's three shades in there that are direct ripoffs of the Urban Decay, um, I do like the fact that they've got that matte black and that matte white to help brighten up the color. And then last but not least, the Happy Birthday palette that I got from NYX that I never used at all. Getting rid of that. So, that's it. That's all for the purge and declutter for August and the summer, essentially. Again, I'm only selling online to six people, Cheesy and Nika, Yo-Yo, Ashley S, Cam, and Tiandria. Locals, as long as you keep your word, you're good. If not, lay you, babe. Mm -mm. So, and those who have my phone number know how to get in touch with me about that. But so again, this is just showing y'all what it is that I'm getting rid of. My YouTube friends, I adore you. Well, actually, let me take that back. Um, D, because she asked, and she's actually the one um, who gave it the the name, the inner circle. We'll talk. <laughs> Anyways, so this is that's all. <laughs> As always, thank you ever so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, hit your girl up in the comments section. If you are new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back on my channel. But if you're not here for me, my shenanigans, my opinions, or flagrant use of the word motherfucker, that's fine. There is an X in that corner. Feel free to click at your life and get the entire fuck off my channel. But if you are here for my shenanigans, you are beautiful, amazing, wonderful, spectacular. And if no one else has told you, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for bearing with me and being patient while I went through these internet issues and all that good stuff and getting things together and various household projects and stuff. I appreciate you guys. I'll be back filming. I'm going to try to stick to a schedule of maybe two videos a week if I can, as long as I don't have any other adverse um circumstances that try to block me from that but I'm gonna try to give you guys that commitment so so that I can give you guys that commitment I'm going to go and edit this now you have a wonderful night bye